It's time for Washington Fish Cooks. Hey Washington Fish Cookers. I'm gonna do a, a meal train thing, if you've ever heard of that. It's where you bring a meal to uh, friends or family who have just had a baby. A couple of friends of ours, really good friends, just had a kid, so I'm gonna bring them some uh, rockfish that I'm gonna prepare in the oven. Since they just had a kid, I'm not frying it, so you know they can get some kind of health benefit from it. For step one, I'm gonna give each of the fillets a gentle rinse in uh, some cool, fresh water here. Step two is putting the fish in uh, some milk here. I find soaking that 15 to 20 minutes uh, really helps remove the fishy flavor. And I'm not talking the good fishy flavor, I'm talking the kind of like, uh, this tastes kind of overly fishy, fishy flavor. All right, they're done. Now since these aren't gonna be breaded, I'm gonna pad these off with uh, paper towels. If I was just gonna deep fry them or fry them in oil, I would not uh, dab off the milk. I would just, you know, leave that on and bread it. All right, so I've laid my uh, fish on a uh, lightly greased uh, oven tray here. And next, I'm going to add a little lemon. Just got about half of a really small lemon here, just squeezing over the top. A little citrus zest is always nice. Ha 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 ha. Gonna follow that up with some light mayo. Just gonna barely coat it with a little mayonnaise. That is to both help hold the moisture in and to make the rest of the ingredients stick to the top of the filet. Now I'm going to add some garlic. I don't have any uh, fresh garlic, so I'm just going to use some minced garlic here. Garlic powder will also work. Um, if you use garlic salt, watch out. It can make your, uh, you know, dish a little salty. Yeah, big reason I add the garlic is just to keep vampires off of this fish. Alright, now I'm going to add a pan of crushed pepper here. Not too much. Now it's time for the dry ingredients. I'm going to uh, put some breadcrumbs over the top here. This makes it look almost as good as deep fried fish. Assuming that you, you know, don't flip it over. <laughs> all right, now they've made my fish all crummy. <laughs> Get it? I'm going to add some Johnny seasoning salt. I just happen to like it. I'd say in this part of the recipe, you basically add whatever kind of seasoning you like the most on the top. And that's what'll get you in the mouth first. <laughs> All right, these are ready to go in the oven. Ah, that incessant beeping means the fish is complete. All right. Well, since, uh, you know, it's not for me, I can't really just, like, take a bite out of it. Which is kind of stupid for my first episode. But at any rate, um, it's flaking apart pretty nicely, which is sort of how you can tell, even in the thicker areas. Oh, yeah, totally flaking apart. Probably should have greased the pan a little better, but uh, yeah, boy, it smells great with that lemon on it, you know, and uh, the garlic. Mmm, that smells awesome. See, I'm plating it over a bed of uh, veggies and uh, wild brown rice. Yeah. All right. I am the Tetris master. And I'm in luck. A little piece fell off for me. Mmm. Yeah, even... Oh, yeah, it's real good. There's another scraping. At any rate, uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, bring this to my friends, Vanessa and I are, and I'll see you on uh, next month's Washington Fish Cooks. Thanks a ton for tuning in. Mmm.